today's lesson will be Janai Aiko, Stay Ready, uh, with Kendrick Lamar. And it's a very, very nice uh, piano progression. And uh, I'll be playing around with it today. And we'll be breaking down the chord structure so that you can play it as well. Now let's get started. So the case here for the key signature, we're going to have two key changes. We're going to have the first one which is in B major, and I'll play the scale. And the second one is going to be E flat minor, and I'll play the scale for that as well. And the first key signature is B major, and we'll play the notes one by one. B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, and B. One more time. B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, and B. And when you play that a little bit at regular speed, and walking down, one more time. That's the B major scale. Now we're going over to the E flat minor scale, which is uh, obviously quite different in terms of the sound. So we're going to start off with E flat, F, G flat, A flat, B flat, C flat, D flat, and E flat. One more time. E flat, F, G flat, A flat, B flat, C flat, D flat, and E flat. So that's speed. Going down. One more time going up. So there's six chords in total for this song. We're going to break those down now. So the six chords that we have uh, are going to be three chords for each key signature, essentially. So the first part of the song I'm playing in the right hand is the melody. So you're having uh, D sharp. F sharp and G sharp. So you're going to play that whole section uh, a total of six notes uh, per bar in this case, or per chord, I should say. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then a chord change. Okay, and then seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and so on. So on the right hand or on the left hand going to have the chord patterns change a little bit. On the right hand, that goes throughout the whole song, for the, uh, except for the key change, where you're going to be playing the standard uh, stopped or stacked chords. So for the first direct part of the song, you're going to have this three uh, bar progression with the right hand, or three note progression of D sharp, F sharp, and G sharp. And you just repeat that throughout uh, the first half of the song. Now the second half, we'll get to later, but the uh, chord structure is very, very simple uh, and very mi minimalistic in, in terms of the sound. Uh, you're going to have a G sharp 7 right here. G 
G sharp, B, D sharp, and C down to F sharp. Those are chords. And if you don't want to play the melody or uh, you don't feel comfortable playing the melody just yet, you can actually just play in a giant G uh, sharp 7 chord. Okay? For like a pure instrumental section. Uh, now the next chord is going to be a simple B major triad, which is B, D sharp, and F sharp. And the third chord for the first half of the song in the key of B major, we're going to have the nice E major finish E, G sharp, B, and D sharp, E major seventh. But you can definitely kick that up to an eleventh or a ninth if you want, uh, if you have the reach. I have the reach in this case because of my uh, long hands and long fingers. Uh, but if not, you know, you can also play it here, which is just as powerful, uh, harmonically speaking. So you have that going for you in terms of the chord structure. So once again, you're going to have the G sharp. We're going just over the chords. The melody uh, we'll add it next. First is G sharp, next is B. Now you can kick it up to a uh, B major 7th if you want for a little bit of a stark contrast with a uh, previous chord. So let's just play the triad for simplicity's sake. So you have B major and finally E major 7th. E, G sharp, B, G sharp, B, and D sharp. And that's it for the chord section for the first half of the lesson, or the first half of the song. And uh, let's add in the melody, uh, make it more concise. So for the first part, first chord, you're playing this, this measure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then you add on the last chord. So the E major gets played twice, the other chords get played once. Very easy progression, so I'll play that for you one more time with the right hand melody included. And that's it. Very, very easy melody to get. And so, uh, as I said earlier, kind of a minimalistic approach uh, to uh, a very nice, very nice track. Now we're switching over to the key signature of E flat minor. And it's very straightforward and very, uh, very easy to get. So with E flat minor, as I said, there's a break in the middle of the song where uh, Janae starts going to, or after Kendrick's verse, Janae starts to get into almost a freestyle, and the key changes, and it makes it a little more dramatic. So you're going from kind of a, a happy, airy key of B major to a more uh, serious E flat minor, which I like quite a bit. I think it's a very nice and dramatic effect. So the first chord, I'll play at speed. So it's a very easy progression. So the first chord I'm playing now in the intro I did uh, a simple uh, E flat minor 7th, uh, but you can kick it up definitely to um, an E flat minor ninth, 
So either one, you can go here or here, depending on your finger length. And if you, like I said, if you can't reach all the way up here, you can definitely do standard E flat uh, triad, which sounds just as powerful. So the first chord we're playing is E flat, B flat, D flat, or I'm sorry, B flat, and D flat. And you kind of have an E flat minor ninth going in your left hand. On the right hand, you're just continuing that chord of G flat, B flat, and D flat. You have E flat minor seventh in this case. I'm sorry, E flat minor seventh. Again, B flat minor triad under uh, second inversion. F B flat, D flat, F B flat, D flat. And then you have stark contrast of the F minor seventh in this case. F A flat. C, E flat, F, A flat, C, E flat. So once again. And that's the progression for the most part. Uh, and, and that's it for the second half of the lesson of the song really. Uh, there's not much more that you can uh, do in this this particular pattern but feel free to open it up and invert the chords uh, how you see fit. Uh, I just played it as close to the track as I can make it but if you want to invert some of the chords in this case you go from the standard E flat minor 7th uh, to the B flat minor 7th and make it sound a little bit more airy and then down to the F minor free to do that as well. Again, there's a lot of options that you do beyond uh, what is shown in terms of the chord progression. If you want to add your own runs, you want to add your own licks to it, uh, feel free. But these are the chords that are definitely in the song and uh, accompanying the video, there's sheet music and MIDI file to, that are available in the link. So feel free to uh, download that whenever you get a chance. Janae Aiko and Kendrick Lamar sell out. Thanks for watching.